الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه By the name of Allah we start Brothers and sisters Peace be upon you all Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In this series of programs we're going to talk about Imam Bukhari his life and his works, his teachers, his students, and the challenges brought against uh, him and his works, which uh, are very much needed to talk about in our modern time now. So, inshallah, in few minutes, we will present some of the basic information, most important pieces of information in his life and works. First of all, why Imam Bukhari? We need to answer this question, and you have the right to ask this question. Why? Every one of us sees now the importance of talking about Imam Bukhari in our modern time. But why? Let me tell you basically that without the Sahih of Imam Bukhari and without the Hadith that are included in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari, we wouldn't be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or even perform prayer as we do now. Because the Quran contains aqimu salah wa atu zakah, irka'u wasjudu, perform prayer, pay zakah, do ruku' do sujood. But how? It is all through the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and the most important work of hadith, the most authentic book, authoritative work, the soundest book any human being ever wrote is Sahih al-Bukhari. So no wonder that we need to talk about Imam Bukhari. And challenging the Sahih in our modern time now is an attempt to destroy the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And without the Sunnah, we won't be able to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the deen is destroyed. Anyone who tries now to attack Sahih al-Bukhari is trying to destroy the foundation of our deen. This is why, brothers and sisters, I need your attention, I need your time, few minutes for every episode to go through the life of Imam al-Bukhari. It's a journey. We're going to see from his birth, his father, his mother, his family, his teachers, how he proceeded in seeking knowledge, his journeys around the Muslim world, and then how he wrote the Sahih, and then why the Sahih is the most authentic book. كم سعيت إلى أعتابي سدته فعدت أرفل في ثوب بنته